What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com, back with another SketchUp quick tutorial for you. So we're going to learn how to model the nature boardwalk at the Lincoln Zoo in Chicago. So this is a really unique structure that's got kind of a cool bent uh, glue lamb looking shape. Um, so let's go ahead and just jump into it. So uh, first thing we're going to need to do, you're going to need a couple uh, extensions in order to model this. So you're going to need... Um, Fredo scale, we're going to use the radial bend tool, and then also the soap skin and bubble plug-in. So let's go ahead and get started. So first thing we're going to do is we're just going to draw an arc. So we're just going to draw two points, um, and then just have the arc curve out just like this. It doesn't need to be a half circle, it's probably a little less than a half circle. So you just need an arc just like this, because what we're going to do is we're going to use the move tool to create a copy of this. So you'll, you'll turn on that move tool, um, click on this object, and then um, tap that control key and move this over here to make a copy of it. And then we're going to use the scale tool to flip it. So we're going to flip it, and then we're going to move it back so that it intersects with itself. So create an arc, move it over here, and then flip it, and then move it over here so that it intersects. And then you can erase your leftover geometry in here. So you can come in and erase these pieces, and then you can take this piece, move it over here, do the same thing, make a copy, and then flip that. And then move that back just like this. So now you've got kind of half of your half of your shape in here. So now you're going to do the same thing, just select it, use the move tool to make a copy of it, and then flip it. Again, just like this. There we go. And then just move it back together. So now what you've got is you've got this uh, almost like an eye shape in here. But what you're going to do now is you're going to draw a line across the center of it to heal this face. Then you can erase the line. Then use the offset tool to come in here and just offset it just like this. Just just enough that you've got kind of a just enough that you've got kind of a face in here that you can push pull up just like this. When you've got this face, you can push pull it up. I'm actually going to push pull this down so that I've got this face on top of it just like this. So what we're going to do is first thing you can do is you can use the erase tool in hide mode to come in here and erase these lines. So just hold that shift key and then click and drag your mouse across these lines. What that's going to do is that's going to hide them so this looks like a smooth face. Alright, so once you push pull this, what you're going to do is you're going to double click inside of it to select the face and also this line around the outside. And then um, what you're going to want to do is once you've double clicked on it, you're going to activate the soap skin plugin. And basically what you're going to do is you're going to tell it to, you're going to set your division in here. So you want to divide this so that it's got at least one line straight down the middle and then one line on each side right here um, so that it inflates properly. But once you've done that, once you've got kind of your division in here and you can type in numbers like nine or eight and you can see how it's changing the number of lines that are in here so just pick a division that gives you at least three divisions running this way on your line and then once you're done with that you can just hit that enter key and soap skin will come in here and it'll generate your face and then what you can do is you can hide this real quick you can erase this face and then you can come back in here and unhide oops Just like this. So now what you're going to do is you're going to come in here and you're going to adjust the pressure of this. And you can double click in this and reverse the faces so the white side is facing out. But you're just going to come in here and you're going to adjust the pressure. So you see if I type in negative 10, it gives me pressure in the wrong direction. So let's type in positive 50 and see what that does. Maybe positive 100. Because what we want this to do is we want this to kind of extend out so that it's kind of inflated like the fiberglass pieces that are shown on the Lincoln Zoo boardwalk. So maybe try a 200. 200's getting there. So what happens in here when you do this is sometimes you get kind of some weird... Uh, when you start getting up to really high pressures, um, it can get a little bit weird in here. But I think we're good for right now. So what we've got here is we've got... We've got a top piece and we've got a bottom piece here. And we're going to go ahead and make this bottom piece into a component for right now. We'll just call it base. And then you can make this top piece a component as well. And we can just call this top. And what we're going to do is we're going to create five copies of this. 
moving this way. So you're going to select everything, you're going to move it using copy mode, and then you're going to type in times five. And what that should give you in this is that'll give you six pieces right here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to come in here and we're going to select these. And we're going to select this base piece right here. And then we'll come in and delete this piece. Basically what we're doing is we're coming in here and we're uh, creating copies of this so that we can come in here and bend them later. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and bend this and then make a copy of that. So first thing you want to do is for these two end pieces, you want to go ahead and delete the, delete the fiberglass in here because the bottom pieces along the length of this uh, the length of this structure don't have the fiberglass in them. And you can see how this has a whole bunch of lines in here. Just use the erase tool in hide mode again to come in here and get rid of those. You could probably use the soften option in your tray as well. But if you come in here and you hide all those lines, then this will look nice and smooth. Just like this. So now what we're going to do is first of all, we're going to save. So you, you really want to save before you do a big geometry thing like this because uh, you don't know if SketchUp's going to crash, if it's going to like it, if it's going to accept it, stuff like that. So save a copy. And then once you've saved a copy, what you want to do is you want to come in here and you want to select all of this. And then you want to go into Fredo Scale and select the Radial Bend Tool. I've talked about doing this before, but um, you can download Fredo Scale from the uh, Sketchication Extension Warehouse. And then uh, just come up here, activate that toolbar, and you're going to look for the Radial Bend option, just like this. And what you're going to do is you're going to tap the uh, left key on your keyboard in order to uh, lock this to the green axis. Then you're going to come out here and you're going to, first of all, set a reference direction. And then it's going to ask you for a target point. So that's the other end of the object you're going to bend, just like this. And then it's going to ask for your rotation angle. So in this case, if I drag my mouse, it's going to give me a little bit of a preview. But basically, I want to type in negative 180 and hit the Enter key. And what that's going to do is that's going to bend this 180 degrees, just like this. Ooh, didn't like that. Hey guys, so I had to come in here and do this again. So basically all that I did to make this work is I just moved everything above the origin point. So for whatever reason, I was up above where the axes crossed and it didn't like that. Um, so it was bending it the wrong way. So all I did was moved it up to so the bottom corner of that piece was where the axes intersected and everything worked fine. So we're gonna bend that 180 degrees and what we're gonna do is we're gonna move this piece up just like this. Then we're going to use the rotate tool to kind of stand it up. So just uh, click on this corner and then rotate it 90 degrees just like this. So now you've got your first piece of your arch in here just like this. It's got all the fiberglass pieces in it and everything else. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to make a series of copies of this. Um, this way to create our whole nature walk arch. So the one thing you're going to want to do, well probably two things. First of all, save again before you do this because this is a lot of geometry in here. And uh, anytime you're going to move a whole bunch of geometry, uh, you're going to want to go ahead and save it. And then so what you're going to do is you're going to select this whole thing. You're going to right click and you're going to make component and we'll just call it arch piece. And making it a component may make it a little bit faster when we move it. But basically what you're going to do is you're going to use the move tool in copy mode again. And then when you do that, you're just going to type in times times 11. Just like this. And so that'll make um, that'll make 11 copies this face. So and what you could do if you really wanted to before you uh, before you did this is you could come in here and you could hide. Whoops. You could come in here and you could hide the geometry on each one of these um, to make it look a little bit smoother. I don't think I like that. I think what we're going to do instead is we're going to come in here and we're going to use soften mode. So you're going to come down to your soften edges option down in here. So soften edges is an option that you'll find in your tray down near the bottom. And you can just basically drag, you can check these two boxes and then drag this until the extra lines on this face kind of go away. Just like this. So you can see how that's a nice smooth face now. And then once you've done that, then you can come in here and you can make your 11 copies of this. So just use the move tool, move it along the green axis, make sure everything's lined up the way it needs to be, and then type in times 
11 and there you go so leave a comment below let me know what you thought did you like this video was it helpful to you um, I love having that sketch up conversation with you guys if you like this video remember to click the like button down below if you're new around here remember to click that subscribe button for new sketch up content every week if you really like what I'm doing on this channel please consider supporting me on patreon um, every little bit helps even if it's only a dollar a month that just helps me keep bringing you great sketch up content in any case I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this and I will catch you in the next video thanks guys